Do you have a few minutes? Sure. Would you like to see a demonstration of our new paper pouncers? I would love to see them. Paper pouncers are meant to be fun, easy, and comfortable on your hands. They are made with a makeup sponge. This is a makeup sponge head. This is top quality nice. technology. Um, May I, I touch? Can, yeah, oh yeah, please. I think I have one that's right, right, right here. This oh, one's clean. Cool. So you can see, there, are, there it's porous, because obviously it's a man-made sponge. You can say it's foam sponge. Nowadays, they're, they're, synon they're synonyms for each other, sponge and foam. Right. However, they're not like a makeup brush that you would use to spread makeup across your face. So it's the top, notch makeup sponge material and there's no glue it's held together oh, with it's a in cloth. There. so it won't pop out so it's not just going to pop out and if it does pop out you can pop it back in because oh. i actually of course you know since it's mine i sat there and tried to destroy it as much as possible <laughs> and i finally got it out and then brought it back to my husband and said okay now put it back together and it went right back in i can't even tell which one it is oh, so gotcha. watch how fast so i'm going to do this leaf real quick and this is a primed sponge. I am using, this is ink on three, which is a reactive dye ink. But we tell people use any ink you like that is water-based. Mm. So, you know, you could use hybrid, it is water-based. However, hybrid has proper, it, you know, you're gonna get your best results out of oxide, pigment, and dye inks. Okay, so you saw how fast that was. Yeah, That super is speedy. completely done. So that's just like my base coat. So now I'm going to come back with a lighter green. I did not bring any, I only brought like 12 ink pads. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, where I thought I was going to go with 12 ink pads. So I'm just adding a second layer. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to add yellow on top of that. So you can do some blending. So you see it picked it up. Yeah. But it's okay. Now look. Okay, so just clean it off by on a sheet of paper. Yeah, you, there's, you don't clean these. Okay. There's, you, if, you, in, if you saturate them, they grow. Okay, if you want bigger ones, okay, if you want bigger ones. <laughs> no, I'm yeah, good. Yeah, I'm me good. too, good. No, I'm good. Game. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, they will grow. However, it will shrink back down. But it takes okay. like three days for it to completely dry. So, don't leave it in its little caddy because we all know what happens to stuff that you put airtight. Yeah. Okay, so I can come back in and I can pounce back on top of it to get a little bit more of a blend going on. I can remove that and then come back in with my other green. And you know, you just kind of play around with it, right? Is I just said, don't wet them, right? <laughs> don't wet them. But now I'm going to come back with this is a Faber Castell's uh, water marker, which I love. So I just got them. They're like chunky and comfortable. I bought them at, um, so I'm just moistening it. Right. Just a little bit. So I'm going to put a little bit of water. Okay? You don't want to overdo it. So like yeah, you want to dunk it in water to try and clean it in the sink. Yeah. So just doing that and picking um, up a little bit of watercolor. And I mean, even that, it'll eventually come off. So just coming in here and pouncing. So definitely don't take these to your sink and try to clean them no, when you're done you using don't, them. don't clean them. Absolutely There's, not. I mean, yeah. okay, you know what? If you want to go wet them, fine, wet them. But they're going to grow. And I, I would suggest not letting, not having right. them grow. That's just not. And you can see the one that I have wet, it's a little, it's just a little bit bigger. Right. But not much. But no, and it's going to dry. It'll dry. And so it'll shrink back down? Or it'll it'll stay shrink big? back down. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to pick up the rest of this water color. You know, and it's, they're super easy. Super, super fun and easy. And I wish I had more colors of green. But so now Oh, I'm, the green handled ones? In, what? You mean more colors of the ha green no, no, handles? No, 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 no. Or I only just green 12 ink pads. So you're, even though you're using green, you do have two color green handles. Yes. You're yeah. keeping like just dark greens and anything in dark green and all the light limey greens, you light can, greens. Yeah, yes. But then again, you know, as we all do, sometimes the handles get put in the wrong. Eh. Yeah, you stay in your color family. I mean, you know, I did two dark greens in the pack, so there you go. I want to see it. Very pretty. So, um, if you look at the pack, it's so, it's rainbow order. You know, so, give red, you want to stay in your red family. Yeah. Pink, orange, yellow. I, I, at first I was very careful with my yellows, you know, thinking, well, something's going to transfer eventually, right? These yep. are pods. So these are pods, and they each come with their own little lid to keep the dust away. Mm, makes sense. And then you put the lid to the side, and this is what you work with. So this is what you have on your desk is your ink. Mm -hmm. So I usually, that's why I'm kind of 
and organized here. I usually put my ink in my pants. Oh, yeah, kind of line together. up. That's each why each I was other. kind of like, where did it go? Right, right. So yeah. you're just coming in and you're doing right. that color and it goes back in yeah. your, and then you can leave your lid off. And so if you're going right. back and forth, back and forth. And then you can just take your lid. So how would you feel these work with stencils? Fabulous. You want me to show you? Sure. So what's great about stencils, about them working with stencils, is that if you already are, pro, pro, you know, good with a good stenciler, you will no longer need to have so much washi tape mm. and um, so much washi tape and pixie spray. I mean, I'm not saying don't use it because I have not thrown my pixie spray away. Mm -hmm. There are certain stencils that no matter what, you need your pixie spray. I'm going to just hold this down. Actually, this is not even good paper. Let me do it. <laughs> paper quality is a thing, people. Yes. And I, if you're using mixed media, if you want to get a nice mixed media look, Strathmore Crystal Smooth is always your, my go-to. All right, so I'm just going to hold this with my hands, and I'm going to pounce up and down. Oh, I'm not going to go sideways. I'm not going to. Let me show you what not to do. You ready? Yeah. You don't want to do this. Oh. Okay. Do you see all that extra ink that came out? You just right. forced, and then what happens? That extra ink will go underneath the surface. Oh, okay. So it is just an up and down. Hence the name, the pouncers. Yep. Hence pouncers. Yep. So however thick you want, I mean, however dark, if you want. And if you wanted to And start, don't do like this, the circle method like no, we do with the blending no, brushes either. No, absolutely not. Because what happens is when you're doing the circle method with blending brushes, sometimes the bristles will go underneath. If you're doing the circle method here, it's you're not going to mess up the stencil. You're not going to mess up the brush. You're going to you're going to squeeze ink out. You are twisting ink out onto your paper, and you don't want that big. So if you want, I mean, you can come in and pounce softly to get a softer. Yeah. You know, to get a much softer look. So, also, let me show you. You see, you can open them one handed too. I did right. see I that. Like that. Therefore, you don't have to move your hand off your yes. stencil. Or That's right. right. So, right. let's talk about the concept of blending. Okay. If you're using colors that are naturally blended, colors that naturally will blend themselves, like green and blue, you will be able to have some blending happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why I'm purposely picking this blue. And you'll see, you can see it already that you're going to start getting like a jade mm -hmm. sort of bluish color. So again, the the darkness is how heavy-handed you are. Right. It's all about. So this is called this sense is called cobblestone, and we just came out with some frogs, some a, an additional added set to of frogs we had two years ago because that, that's what I like to do. I don't want to just go create another frog. I want my frogs that I had before doing different things so mm -hmm. you can add your existing frogs with your new frogs, right? Right, right, right. So I'm, I, I, this is Let your new, frogs multiply and be happy. Yeah, your frogs <laughs> So now we have another one where our frogs are, they're like in little scenes for you. So I, I thought of this the other day. I'm like, well, I'm going to like have my frogs have their own little lake, right? Mm -hmm. We don't have to do this whole thing. No, I no, just no, want a good idea. But you're having a blast, it. and this is very therapeutic and just very watching you easy. do this. All right. And again, so the heavier you pounce, the th the darker the, the darker color. It is. So, right, this is the best part of it. It but is. I love perfect. reveal. I mean, I love the reveal. But, uh, there's no tape. There's no glue. There's no magnets. Right. There's it no just lifts up, fixing. and you're good to go. You're just good to go because you're pouncing right up and down, and the sponge is so soft that it doesn't pick up. And if this is this is not a very detailed stencil. Just because I've been doing this so many times, I picked one a little easier. But your detailed stencils are not going to rip your sponge. Oh, that's good. Absolutely will not. So is there any kind of product we want to stay away from in terms of it would damage the sponge and therefore the quality? So nothing with grit in it, I'm guessing. Uh, no paint. Okay. I mean, water-based ink is what they're okay. designed for. Right. So as long as it, you know, Distress Ink is fabulous. Oxide inks are great. Catherine Fuller, Gina K. Any water-based Ink. You get uh, reactive inks like um, Hero Arts reactive inks work fabulous. Um, Ranger inks work well. I would stay, no stays on. Yeah. Stays on eats things. They do, well, they just don't blend either. Right, and yeah. they don't blend. But even if you just wanted something solid black, the stays on is going to eat your spot. But I do think that our, I think anything that's meant to be permanent right. might not work. Got it. Okay. But I don't know. I don't know. I haven't been yeah, able to get I mean, it, that's. I mean, I've used. 
And I'm guessing as people are getting them, they'll send you feedback. Yeah, and they will. And you think they always tell me, oh, look how they work with this. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad I would. <laughs> but I would stay away from paint. And that's just, you know, common. And even your own paints, too. Even my, yeah, my, my glazes dry so fast. Yeah. But you will not have time to get that sponge. And then you said you don't want to take it under the water and really clean it very well. Right. I mean, yeah. you don't need to. If you want to clean it and it makes you happy to clean it, <laughs> you know what? Just put the lid back on top of it and now the gunk, is, the dirtiness is all gone. But if you want to wash it, you know, go rinse it under the sink. If you're using dye ink. It's just going to. Right. There'll always be stains. It's just the way. Your tools. Yeah. I used to always tell my students they're not heirlooms. Tools. We want them to be our children's heirlooms, and they yeah, love they them care less. and protect well, them. Well, my daughter so might have a different opinion on that. Right. She loves all my stuff. Right. <laughs> but, you know, there there are tools yeah. right now in the present. You know, awesome. Protect everything as best you can. And you do, you cannot mix them between different types of inks. Like, you cannot use oxide ink with the sponges and then stick them into your dye ink pads. Right. That's not, they're not going to hurt the sponge. You're going to destroy your ink pad. Right. Is the so if you tend to, if you're... If you're going to have different kinds of inks that you want to daub or that you want to yes. quote unquote blend with or pounce yeah, with, you, you, then have a couple oxide, of different if sets. If you're an oxide girl, then I would say get one set for oxide and use your oxide. And right. then you're like, oh God, I love these. Okay, then go buy a set for your dyes. Right. I'm not an oxide girl. So just because I live in South Louisiana and it's so humid. It takes forever that to dry. It takes forever. And it's like, it's like paint. Yeah. It's like thick like paint when I try to, like if I had done this. I mean, it would have just gushed out because oh. we just have so much humidity. Right. Well, thank you so much for the demos. Is there anything else that we want to go over? Or, I, mean, I mean, I'm I'm happy with the pouncers, so I'm yeah, good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. I mean, you can, obviously we have new stamps and dyes and stencils and yeah. embellishments. And of course. You gotta have all the new stuff too. But I'm loving the new tool. This is amazing, and I can't wait to play with some sometime. All right, good to you. Thank Bye. you. Bye guys. Bye. Have a good afternoon. I'll see you later.